Well, I got the phone dialing. I hate this. This person cannot be reached at the moment. Please leave a message after the tone. After you leave a message, you can modify it by pressing pound. Hey, Ron. Nathan. Um, moving stuff around over here and everything, and needed to talk to you. Um, I think this is your mobile. Um, I had another number, and it didn't work. And this one, it doesn't say your name or nothing, but I think this is you. So give me a call, uh, 406-546-8748. Uh, or if you're in the area, give me a call, stop by or whatever. See ya. Call me. Bye. <sighs> Fucking hate doing this shit. And I'm so far behind the ball on this one. I don't have... I don't have the time. I don't have what it takes here. And I am without options. To say the very least. Killing me here. I got no microwave even now, no hot plate. It all blows and trips the fuse. I've got no electrician. So my place is down. Got no milk for cereal even, because I got no refrigerator. Uh, so, Taco Bell it is. It's all I can do. Healthy as I can be, I guess. Hi. Hi, how are you? So he's in Long Beach. Um, and the subscriber knows what time to pick him up. But end of the year too. But whatever. We need to just get things in order for sure. I gotta go. I'm getting pulled over. Nope. Don't think so now. It'd be very hard for him to catch me anyhow. Whew. Don't like to popo. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And if I say that a few times in a video, it's because I was editing them together and I didn't know I was going to be editing them together. So, that's that. On my way to the gym, but what's more, on the way to the trolley stop, I got James coming in from New Jersey. And he's going to be helping out around here for at least a few weeks. We'll see how that goes. Um, seems like a very nice guy, very eager. I've actually known him for quite a while on YouTube. Um, subscriber type thing for the last, God, it must have been four or five years now. But he'll be here in probably about 45 minutes, which is just about 10 minutes quicker than my workout's getting done. So we might be a little bit off, but I should be here right at the perfect time to meet him and get my workout in. So here we are. I'm going to shut this off and kind of um, clip more in in a little while. Yes, sir, Rebob. Okay. I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna go pick up James. The breeder wants to go, but you can't. Okay. James should be about here. Whether he's here yet or not, I don't know. I'm guessing no. I haven't heard from him. And Samantha hasn't heard from him. And it's pretty much past the time when he should have already been here. Not sure where he could be, but it's definitely not in this spot. So, I guess I'm going to try. Looking at other places? I mean, I don't know what else. They were talking to you, Breeder. She's like, yeah, yeah, I know. Come on, James, where you at?
well. At the target. Okay, James should be here somewhere. Is that him? That'd be him. James? Hey, Frida. Hey, Nathan. Hey. You just push her aside. She'll act like she knows you. Oh, no. Stupid Mercedes. How's it going? Uh, long, long trip? trip? Long trip, Nathan. Really long. No! Oh, it won't go back up. I don't even know how it went down. God you damn it. Pull and you push the button. It is not gonna go, man. That is crappy. Can you push the back button? Yep. It's towards the front. It ain't going nowhere, man. This fucking sucks. Okay. Ah. I don't even know how it went down. I learned that from you. Not to touch that back window. Fuck that back window. I don't even know. Oh, she jumped on it. That's what I'm thinking. Well... I never thought I would get a chance to meet you. So what's up, man? Man. What's going on? Just think I'm trying to catch up. Sorry, I didn't mean to piss your hand off. <laughs> that, and then, that, that wasn't the aunt that was pushing me out here. That was literally, I've had my family all week trying to talk me out of coming out here. They're like, do you know this guy? And, are you sure it's okay? Do you think you're gonna go out there and he's just gonna say F you? And I'm like- We gotta take it back anyway. <laughs> that's what I said. I said, this guy, I, I said, watch his video. Watch his video. I said, I've seen him do it before. He's done it before. He's posted online, offered a job. People have come and they've, they've worked for the guy. They well, posted on YouTube. they've kind of worked. <laughs> kind, of, kind of sort of worked. And I'm like, he's he's, I mean, no, I, 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 did, I have not met him in person, but he's, for the most part, a man of his word. He said in a video, hey, you want a plane ticket? I get you a plane ticket. I mean, you know, it's a weird thing. People don't, people don't really get that, like, the thing with Chris. I mean, it's just not understandable that, like, boom, somebody could take care of something like that for someone just so easily. That's so weird. That, I, yeah. It's enjoy, it's awesome, but at the same time, even my dad is just he just doesn't get it he's like well are you sure you know i mean do you know this guy like he's gonna be picking you up and stuff i'm like you know what he's a good guy i've known him a long time you know <laughs> no he was, he was actually really cool hey he seems like a nice guy hello hey i was just making sure you guys found each other yes everything. yes i'm not jason richmond no that was years ago dude <laughs> cool okay bye once I get on Facebook, then you start putting faces with names, but then you start losing the track. Like there's three or four different Jameses and two or three of them have an S in their last name. So then I can't relate it back to the channel names and the fucking names just get so fucked in my head. I know recently I posted a, I sent a comment to you on YouTube and this is after we, and you and I spoke and uh, I know my name pops up as that. It was all through my uh, stupid job. They gave me the nickname and I used to do the video and stuff for them, but I did it only on Facebook. But I, I put my name under that, but James M. I don't know if you saw the comment, just so- you, I think I might have. Just so you would know who that account belonged to. And I know I broadcasted on my Facebook channel. I mean, my Facebook page a few times. Literally, when you said can, when you come, I'm like, is, is he sure? I mean, this to me. This well, you seem kind of, you seem kind of like you were um, 
wanting to get out of there too in the last couple of weeks when you send a message or something. What the fuck? I need to get out of this shit or something like that. Nathan, if I even began to tell you what the hell is going on in my life, you would be like, what the fuck? Seriously. I mean, that's a story and a half. Life is always interesting, that's for sure. Now get ready for some trolls too, because like even on that post, even after I backed it down and I'm like, no, 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 dude, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to piss her off, I guess, my subscribers keep coming back posting pictures of like Leatherface and shit, I mean, I dude. On the plane, crying. <laughs> meanwhile my aunt's pissed, and I sent her a message, I'm like, listen, relax, you're talking to my, you know, my boss, I'm like, everything's okay. Like this guy hired I was wrong. I was wrong. To do that. It was the wrong place to do it. But then my subscribers, they don't have any. They don't care. They'll just keep going. I was getting a kick out of it. I loved every bit of it. It gave me a entertainment on the one plane. But man, That's a long trip, man. That was a hell of a trip. You just see that you see it's going to take eight hours and 17 minutes, and you're like, oh, that's cool. And then you don't realize the couple hours to get there beforehand, the couple hours on this end. Dude, I hit the room this morning at 6 o'clock. We got to the airport maybe about, I'd say, a good 40 minutes. Security checked it was pretty good at that airport. Billy, that was good on your behalf. I know Newark would have been a nightmare. Where it would have been? Newark? Newark. Well, we started looking, and like Philly was like two hundred and forty dollars cheaper than the other ones. Nuts if I tell you I recognize all this from watching you on YouTube. Oh, do you? It's fucking nuts. It's hey, now, what about food? Have you ate? Do you need to drive through McDonald's real quick or something? Yeah, or? If you don't mind. What do you go? We got Jack in the Box, McDonald's. I've got all these. Whatever, I don't know. Whatever's closer. Whatever's closer. Well, I'm gonna make you these. And then your place is right there. To right the there, yeah. It's pretty nice in East County. It's San Diego, but it's like pretty, I call it redneck out here. I mean, it's just like in the sticks. There ain't a lot of action. Yeah. That's how I am. Call me the, the loser young guy. If you ever want action, it's a trolley right away. <laughs> 250 <laughs> and that's, you know, $5 and you can ride the trolley all day in San Diego. They didn't even take my fucking ticket. Really? Yeah. I, I missed yeah. the one train just to jump off and buy. I got on a train and there were cops on there. <laughs> you got off to get a ticket? Yeah, like, um, <laughs> uh, where do I get the ticket from? And the cops like, oh, it's out there. I, I jump off the train to get the ticket. No sooner than I'm done getting the freaking ticket, the train pulls off. I'm like, you gotta be shitting me. And it's funny. Watch what I'm about to do. might get a kick out of this. Hi, what can I get started for you? Um, hang on a sec here. I want a large Diet Coke and a foam cup and okay. some, some kind of meal here. Hang on. Uh, I'm just going to get uh, two um, junior cheeseburger. What are they called here? The McDoubles. Two McDoubles and a, uh, and a fry. Medium fry. Two McDoubles, a medium fry, and a Coke and a foam cup. <laughs> and a Coke and a foam cup. I you got it. Anything else like two for me? Man, you got me thinking about another McDouble. I mean, shit, I can't dance. Might as well. A third McDouble? Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Stop that, dude. A small fry? No, no, no. Stop asking me, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just kidding. So it's gonna be 10:30 at the first window. Thanks, man. Alright, so we have a large diet coke, a large regular coke, full our in foam cups. I got it. Doubles and a medium fries can be 10:30. Dude, you're gonna have to get the radio show going on, man. I'm <laughs> telling you, you've got the radio voice going, bro. <laughs> Call to make radio. You sound like you've got a radio voice. He's the announcer. Did you change? Did you need the receipt? No. Have a wonderful night. Merry Christmas. You too. Thank you. <laughs> you heard him on the video? <laughs> I came one time. I went and bought him a big old cake here, and I put. I was gonna, they're gonna awesome. ask you that. How did that go? I didn't. Really cool. They liked it. They dug it. It's, it. It was hard to get a time when like you would catch everybody that you know because I know some people from each shift, and it kind of bounces around but I just wanted they're just awesome they always in fact the other I came here the other night and there I think it was a new guy I, all I wanted was my diet coke and a foam cup uh sorry we can't put soft drinks in foam cups no more no. 
I just put it in reverse. I didn't have my Google Glass on. I wanted to like make a video out of it and be like, <laughs> nah, that did get the manager. Like, what? I can get an iced tea in it, but I can't get a diet coke. Come on. I always thought that was really nutty. Seeing you get so uncomfortable, I'm like, okay, I guess I'm not the only awkward one who does that. <laughs> but it keeps it colder. Oh, sure. dude, it's cold all day long, it's man. Went on a car guy. Went on a car guy.com. I'm going to the auction. James is here. And I'll tell you what, I'm hungry. And I gotta get money from my mom's. We may as well go to Mickey Dee Dee's. We'll take this. We take this. See, I got somebody with me now. If I get two sausage muffins, I don't have to eat them both, dude. I just don't. I can like go, whoosh, and boom. Yeah. Don't you give the breeder the insides? I do give it the inside one. <laughs> we'll see how the auction looks because at 10 o'clock it's going to start raining like shit. So an hour and a half we're going to be pouring. I didn't think you were going to go. I, just, I, just I really didn't want to go. I don't want to. I still don't. I don't want to go. There's a one, but we can get you signed up. There's one, um, you got your ID? Yeah. There's one Volvo there I've been looking at. And there is... And then you go through this way too. There's two borders on this end. You gotta have a passport now. It fucking sucks. When I was a kid, you never used to have a passport. You just went to Mexico. Yeah, there you go. You know, the way he's talking about getting him to pay for that is the most ingenious thing. I mean, at first, I'm all like, yeah, he's gonna build a wall. Yeah, you know, whatever. And then it's like, well, how are you gonna pay for it? All of a sudden, I started like, how is he gonna pay for that? So I went, because he started saying, we're gonna make them pay for it. I was like, well, that's pretty fucking bold. They don't wanna do that. I look it up. Well, have you ever went to Walmart at about three o'clock on a Friday and like seen the line Nuts. at the money sending place? No. Where they go and they like get, they cash your check and they send money for like $3, you send it. Yeah, but it's kind of Western MoneyGram thing. Well, that's what they're doing. They all work here, don't pay no taxes, get cash, and then they go there and they send the money back overseas. And so there's no tax paid on that money. He's like, we're just gonna tax it all. That's how he's gonna pay for the wall. He's gonna tax all the money that they don't pay tax on and send it out of the state. That's fucking ingenious. That is, it's lost money. It's like, they didn't pay taxes on it. Now they're gonna, I mean, it's just, that's amazing. He found a loophole that nobody's taxing. How do you tax cash? Tax it while they're sending it out of the country. It's just like when they bring drugs over here and sell them. Same thing, they have to smuggle it back. Yep. So he's just catching them just like they're drug smugglers with like cash. I can't believe it. That made me go, huh, I like the wall. Every other country in Europe has a wall. And, I mean, it's not, I don't see anything wrong with it. I'm not racist. Then he said other stuff where I just kind of hear like, we need to ban Muslims. I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> might be a stretch. Maybe we could put like a moratorium on it until we know if something, maybe check them out better first and let them come in after that. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> that, I, I, I haven't really looked into him building more. I always, during the election, I said it, I said, it, you know, one thing you hear about it, everyone's like, hey, old Clark had it suck their ass. Like, I like what both of them are saying. And I really, I, I like the fact that, you know, with Trump being a president, we have a kick-ass president. He's not afraid to talk. Well, he's definitely a businessman, knows his business, and he's definitely not afraid to negotiate and talk. I like exactly. that. Neither one of them are. Hillary's a blah, 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 blah. I just, I love Bill Clinton, but not Hillary. Bill Clinton gave us the best years as far as making money goes that I've ever seen.